Hello everyone! I am the plane shifter fitting to the universe of Okami. We've found a, a tip about the whereabouts, a clue I mean about the whereabouts of the girl we're searching for. Now let's get back to the big search. And then I mean big search? Yeah, back to normal times. Hi, Yason. Um? That was quick. Any sign of Lika? Go back in and ask around, but leave me out of it. Yes, yeah, signs of Lika. I have found a tip. Let's talk to this girl. Maybe she can guide us. This is Pongtan, home of the Pongtos. It's a secret place that humans can't reach. Anyway, Camel sensed Lika's presence here, right? If we don't find it, her before the day of darkness begin, and she doesn't perform the volcanic invitation, can move freeze over uh, for good, uh, etc. Tell blah blah blah. We're here. I got a tip. Take me to the portal. And I forgot to start my timer. <laughs> you know, I was since it ha last happened. Oh my gosh, I'm so disorganized today. <laughs> okay, it's funny. Do I need to go back in and ask Takiyaro again? I just need to go let's get out of here. But just don't make me wait forever. Maybe that mallet will burn some sense into you. that girl that gave me the tip leaf I believe in one of those uh, trunks yeah you would you like to me to tell you about the spirit gate again yes the spirit gate is a relic that lies deeper inside the forest. It's a strange gate that takes you to another place in another time. But people say that opening the... Okay. Clear of it. Under in the I saw the gate open in the moment and... And then it was like she'd been swallowed up. Do you think I should tell the other about it, Wolfie? Yes. Okay, maybe I should tell the Elder about this. Who's the Elder? Hold it right there. I remember where I recognize you from. You look just like the wolf in the scroll of Old Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our chief Ishaku? I thought so. Then I suppose we'd better let you in. This is the home of Ishako, chief of the Pankos. He's resting sad at the moment, please go in. He's old and has become quite weak. His eyes are particularly bad, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. I thought it would need soon for this. Huh? Huh? Um, I recognize that smell. Who's there? No, it can't be. But I'd know that back anyway. You must be... Uh, uh, Ami? Another Poco, Ponko that calls me Ami. Did that guy... Was that guy the one that <laughs> used it to... Walk around with a materasu before she became a statue? Ami! It is you! When you departed this world after that brutal battle, I never imagined I would see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age, but... 
But I can sense it. I can sense the tears you're trying to hide too. Can she? <laughs> yes, go ahead and ignore me. That is the Ami I know. I don't know how you managed to make yourself so small. But that rudeness of yours leaves me no doubt of who you are. I am no longer the young boy you remember me as, Emmy. I've grown to become the leader of Punktan. Yes, I am the legendary swordsman Zishaku. Legendary swordsman Zishaku self proclaimed. <laughs> I've grown up in the world since we last met, wouldn't you say? You can give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine powers have weakened considerably. I assume you haven't retrieved all 13 of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we last fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods like they used it to. So I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It is sad to see you without your old strength. But let me tell you, Stride Emmy. In your current state, you can't possibly fight off the powers of darkness. So tell me, don't you have a companion traveling with you this time? Is that a no? You mean you came all this way alone? I wasn't expect to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh well, never mind. It's no big deal. Amy, I'm sure you are... You already know this, but in your current state, you can't defeat the ruler of darkness. Yuponkos always knew that darkness would come one day. That's why we've been training to be celestial and voice. Hmm. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything. I wasn't there. Celestial and voice are the messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on unless people believe in them. We Punkons are the only ones who can communicate with gods. And we train as artists to teach the world their divine power. Then only the very best of us are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of being named a Celestial Envoy. I was the 60th Celestial Envoy when I traveled with you. But I'm old now and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned and teach it to my people. I've been very strict, but it paid off. Now most of them have what it takes to be a Celestial Envoy. So Amy, take a look around the village and talk to them. It's up to you to decide who will be the 70th Celestial Envoy. Hmm, what about this one? Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing, paint, their amazing paintings will show the world your divine power. If people believe in you, your powers are sure to return. Then and only then will you be able to defeat the darkness. What is it? <laughs> Ignore me again, what are you? It doesn't matter, you can tell what you're thinking anyway. You're thinking about the spirit gate, aren't you? Only a fool would be interested in something like that. That loathsome gate invites misfortune, I tell you. To open it, you'll be engulfed in a vile, sinister air. There's no reason in the world you'd ever need to open it. Anyway, it can't be opened without my trusty sword, Denjin Maru. Never mind that, how's your search for Celestial Envoy going? It must be hard to choose with all the talent here. What? Is there something you want to tell me? Just for the rare card, I don't have a grandson anymore. That no good rascal gave up on his training and ran away. With none of my treasure paintings. He's no longer a grandson of mine. I've washed my hands of him. Really? Okay, okay, we need the sword. I guess I'll need this soon anyway. Ah, it's no surprise. <laughs> Hello, Wolf. Did you finish that please, Shaku? Yeah. Well, I hope it went well. He always enjoyed having visitors, so come back and see him soon. Uh, 
Let's just talk to a random punko just to see what happens with this inviting. That guy will do. Or go? Not sure. A punko colleague soon used it to live here, and boy, he could paint. He was the grandson of the village elder, so he had to paint us every single day. But the elder was too hard on him. He never praised his grandson, no matter how well he painted. One day, Sandy said he had enough. He and the elder had a big fight, and he left the village for good. Mm -hmm. I really, really wonder if I can convince his son to get inside. Down yet? What? It looks like you want to say something. The spirit gate? Are you telling me Lika went through it? Hey, you're as easy to read as a book. Well, I ain't gonna go in there either. It's nothing but trouble. If you have to go, ask that old man in Shakov to be your guide. Is, so, is that really you? Who's there? So it's me, Mia. Um, oh, Mia? So you will finally come home. And I bet you became a real celestial envoy. Just like Grandpa Shaku and everyone knew you would be. But why won't you come into the village? Oh, I get it. You don't want to go see him, right? Put a cork in it. What? And what's with the celestial envoy business? Give me a break. What good would it do to become something like that? I'd rather live uh, happy and I'd rather live happy and carefree. I can't believe you'd say that. So does that mean you don't paint anymore? We punkos are supposed to help people believe in the gods. Otherwise the gods will remain forever powerless, remember? I said put a cork in it. If you like painting so much, go for it, but you can count me out. Go hawk your silly ideas and hire a brain plan somewhere else. Isan. Go away, we're busy. We have urgent business beyond the spirit gate. What? Listen, I don't have time to help you out with boring old paintings. Let's get out of here, Emmy. Isan, wait. Isan, are you really going to the spirit gate? Are you trying to find the little Oina girl by any chance? Come on, Amy, we've wasted too much time here already. Let's go already. You're not done with that village? Well, you're on your own. Wanna go back in there? Nah, no. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, how do I get to. Okay, that's bad. Where is the gate? Alright, uh, let's hope that girl actually tells the, the elder about the, the gate. Inner Yashpet. I'm gonna get lost, won't I? Okay, I'm the spirit gate is further down this way. Even we punkos hardly go that far into the forest. Nobody knows when it was made or even who made it. They say that opening the gate only invites disaster. But I doubt we'll find any curiosity seekers around there. After all, no one but the chief uh, of the Ponko clan can open it. Plus the road to the forest depth is like a maze. It's even more confusing than the part Kai guided us through. But if you're really bent on going through the, there, I'll be your guide. What's it gonna be, Emmy? 
Let's go. Okay, let's run full speed to the spirit gate. Now stick close to me for a ball, I don't want to be getting lost. So I'll be following me soon this time. Uh, where are you? Bonk. There's a wind blocking my path here. Okay, forget that one back there. Waste too much time doing that. I stray bead? Really? Okay. I can see you will have to come back here. No, 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 no. Let's just run past these guys. Where are you, Isan? Okay. Ah, mess it up. Ouch. Oh, it's moving. Okay. Let's try not to fight. Is it down? No, not by a long shot. Am I going the rock correct way? Or is this some adapting? Ouch! Any fire nearby? Okay, that thing was moving. This is icy. We better not take this one slightly. I totally did take that one lightly. Whoa, that is fast. Let's, let's get the heck out of here. This is the icy stage. <laughs> it's annoying. Okay. Tell me we're, we're getting there. Ah, no. 
It's oh, where? I, where are these things even coming from? Are they aiming from me? Uh, go. It totally seems like they are aiming. Oh, come on. Where to, Isan? Ah, this is going to be annoying, won't it? This is a checkpoint. Stray bead, okay. Okay. Please, evil trees. Uh. Ah. Tell me it's about to end. Infinity. Ah, the gate. This is it. That big old hunk of wall right there is the spirit gate. Oh, and this is a teleportable one. Ah, yes. Because, really. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Plane Shifter. And I am phasing out. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the game, there are links with more information in the description below. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. See you in the next one.